It's that time of the week again. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. It's been a while since the last one, I know, I'm sorry. As you can tell by the background, I have been moving house. Apologies for not uploading the I Rate Your Teams video last week. Sorry. But we are back with a brand new one. And we are super close to 100,000 subscribers. That has been my all-time goal on YouTube since I started five plus years ago. And I really hope that we can get there very soon. We are just about 6,000 subscribers away. So if you could hit that subscribe button, it'd mean the world to me. I'd be very, very grateful. Without further ado, though, let's get into the video. Now, if you want to be involved in the next I Rate Your Teens video, they are every single Sunday. Sometimes I miss them if I'm moving house. However, they should be every single Sunday. The only thing you have to do, or the only things you have to do, and it's really, really simple, please follow the tutorial, is get a picture of your team, the starting, and hopefully your team in game, or just show me your team in game if you can't get two photos on one tweet. Um, and what you have to do is take a screenshot of your team. Really simple, really easy. I'll leave uh, two links in the description, one for PlayStation, one for Xbox, how to take a screenshot of your team in HD. Really, really easy. Tweet me that screenshot via your console. Again, in the description down below the tutorial, we'll show you how to do that. Using the hashtag It's Haber, and make sure to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is just at It's Haber, link in the description. Uh, you can find uh, literally just how to do all of this in the description, basically. Um, so just tweet me uh, your team with the hashtag It's Haber, and give me a brief description, how many coins you got, who's tradable slash untrad untradable, uh, and just make sure your team's HD. Now, a lot of people have been wondering why on earth I need HD teams for these videos. And it's really simple. So I get the HD screenshot on my Twitter account to show you guys the team before and in game. Uh, to ensure that people can see it on every single device, it has to be HD 1920 by 1080 because some people watch it on, on phones, for example. Some people watch it on tablets. Some people on PCs. Some people watch these videos on their TVs and they could be far away from their TVs. Like I have a TV on my wall over there and my bed's quite far away from my TV. So I wouldn't be able to see a non-HD screenshot if I was watching this in bed. So, to ensure that everyone can actually see the teams that they start with, I always put the HD screenshot up. That's just basically why. I do apologize um, if you guys uh, struggle to get HD screenshots. But if you follow the tutorial in the description, you guys should have a pretty easy way of knowing how to do it. Um, and it shouldn't be too difficult for you guys. So... Without further ado, let's get into it now. I thought I'd quickly show you guys my team, little flex for the end of FIFA. This is my end of FIFA 19 team. This will pretty much won't change at all. Um, I think I'll keep it this whole way. I am utterly flabbergasted that I have managed to get a team like this in FIFA 19, to be honest. At the start of the game, literally in my head, uh, I, I got lucky and, and, and G Fuel sponsored me. So I managed to open up some packs at the start of the game. And then through videos doing well, I've managed to open up more packs and get a better team. So I'm very grateful for you guys for the support over FIFA 19. It's been wild, really. And I can't believe I've had a team like this for FIFA 19. It's just crazy. And I'm so grateful. So without further ado, let's get into the teams. So team one comes from Brandon. Brandon, of course, follows me on Twitter. And his favorite team is Man United. You know what, Brandon? Me too. Sorry. All right. Comments, please. Don't. I don't need to be roasted for this, right? So uh, he said, everyone's untradeable apart from Son, Robbo, DePaul, and some other team of the seasons on the bench. And I've got 20,000 coins. This is the team that he starts with uh, to get people on chemistry. For example, everyone here is on, on full chemistry. So that's why he starts to get on full chemistry. And this is how he plays in-game, uh, playing with Ramos and Gerrard at CDM. wan Basaka, Walker, uh, Van Dijk, and Robbo at the defense with Edison in net. And then he's got Hazard. Hyungmin Son, Clivert, and up top, he has got Ben Yedder. So, uh, he's got a couple of tradable and untradable players. Now, there are a couple of changes I'll make to this squad. I wouldn't I wouldn't make too many changes, but you've got, you know, Savinier and DePaul tradable on the bench. Uh, you've got some nice pink cards on the bench as well, which I like the look of as well. So, let's get into it and see what changes I would possibly make. So, on your bench, you have these two players right here. You have Alaba and you have Richarlison. Now, he's starting a 4-5-1. My recommendation, you have two choices here. I've got two choices that I would personally do that I will I will uh, give to you is, is sort of like an ultimatum, I guess. Not really, but sort of. Uh, now, the first choice, I think I probably should go to the 451 to show you how this is going to work. Um, so we go over to the 451 here um, and I quickly put all your players in position to get the full chemistry. That's how you start your team. Now, choice one would be for Alaba to go there at right mid and then Kimmich over at the right back spot. Now, I'll actually switch to your formation in game to show you sort of what that looks like in game. So if I go back to a 4-2-3-1 really quickly, uh, where is the 4-2-3-1? There it is. Uh, in game, this is what it looked like. Actually, it's, it's almost perfect already. Uh, this is what it looked like in game. So you play Alaba and Ramos at CDM, uh, and then Gerard moves up to Cam, because I don't think Gerard's actually a great CDM in this game. I think he's more of a decent Cam uh, with long shots. You could possibly even do that, to be honest, and have 
have the uh, the far post headers for Cliver, who's actually a beast in the air. Um, so that is option one for me. Now, you are playing Alaba of chemistry, but no one else is off chemistry, just Alaba. And with these kind of incredible stats, I can't see it being too big of a problem being on eight chemistry. Now, option two, as you already saw, you saw there Richarlison. Uh, let's go back to the 4 5 one um, and let's quickly uh, put your plays in the right position so that it's uh, it's all good. So what I would personally do for option two would be not Alaba, actually playing the normal what you had before Wan Bissaka, um, but actually having uh, Richarlison off chemistry at right mid as a centre mid, being on about eight chemistry, seven seven eight chemistry something like that. Um, I would personally play him off chem, change him to a, a centre mid and play him off chemistry, and then in game you would keep the sort of same uh, midfield apart from you would have instead. Of of uh, Hyung Min Son, you'd have Richarlison. I just think that that Hyung Min Son card, despite it being, you know, a not bad card in this game, I don't think it's quite end game anymore. And I think this card will be much better or Alaba, for example. Uh, so they're the two changes that I'd make. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I think a, a lot of people that get featured in these videos, check the comments too. So if you have any suggestions that are different from mine, leave them down below. Let's move on to the next squad. Squad number two for today coming from Orion. Uh, he said, hashtag it's Saber, everyone is untradeable except for Alan, Bentacore, and Larice. This is how he starts his team. Very, very nice team as well. Uh, so he starts in a 4 triple 2 over here and changes to a 4 2 3 1 in game. Yet another 4 2 3 1. Interestingly enough, as well, you have very low rated bronzes on the bench. Uh, the entire bench is a bronze bench. You have no uh, substitutes in game as well. I find that pretty interesting. I'd love to hear uh, your opinion on bronze benching and whether or not you think it, you feel a difference with it. Uh, personally, I don't feel a difference with bron bronze benching. I used to until I just started stacking my bench with all all the best possible uh, players that I had in the club. And then I felt more of a benefit having subs than bronze benching personally. But let me know down below if you guys bronze bench or you prefer having substitutes. I personally prefer having a full bench of subs. Uh, but I know a lot of people that just use three subs on the bench, the three players they know they're going to bring on, and then the rest bronzes. So, you know, there's compromise here and there. Let me know down below. Let's get into the changes that I make to your squad. I mean, realistically, with a squad like this, there's really not a whole lot I change. I think this is more of a flex than anything because he's not even told me how many, how many coins that he actually has. Uh, I initially thought Bentacle was a short player, but he's actually six foot two, and I have no idea why I, I thought that he was short. But this guy looks like he'd be pretty solid at CDM, 85 defending, 84 physical, with some really nice physical stats, as, as well being six foot two and great at jumping. I think he'd be a solid CDM. I think realistically here, all you want to do is try upgrade, possibly go for uh, go for like an Allison at the back. Um, I don't actually. Let me quickly check how you start in game. Yeah, so Kyle Walker and, and uh, Van Dyke are off chemistry. So I personally just go with an Allison at the back um, in your in your goal. Hopefully he doesn't get injured. Uh -huh. um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Liverpool fans. I really am. Uh, yeah, I'd go with an Allison over here. That at least gets your verge of Van Dyke on full chemistry. So you don't have to worry about that. Apart from that, honestly, wouldn't change anything else. It's a really, really nice squad. Um, and like I said, just let me know how you got on with bronze benching. Uh, super nice squad. Uh, interestingly enough as well, a lot of people are using the 4 2 3 one now, but aren't going with the meta back post headers anymore. I know Griezmann does have decent physical jumping and, and, and whatnot, but a lot of people aren't going with the back post crossing. They're going more with Tiki Taka football play. So I, th I find also that pretty interesting, that pretty fun. So uh, I like seeing fun teams with shorter players that are great at dribbling and passing. Um, but apart from that, it's a nice squad. Team number three coming from Gilbert Soyuz. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I said, hashtag it's hey, but I've got around 300,000 and coins. Uh, Ericsson, Fernandinho, Alonso, Moore, and Marquinhos are untradeable. And I like to play the 4-2-3-1 in game. Don't think I'll be able to do foot swaps for Binho. That is unfortunate because that card looks really, really nice. But in game, uh, sorry, this is how he starts. Uh, he starts with uh, 4 3 3. Uh, everyone on full chemistry there, and no one off chemistry. He also has a really nice bench. Like I said, this is someone with a really nice bench who uh, obviously doesn't believe in bronze benching, has a 1 9 2. And in game, he's a 4 2 3 1 with, uh, of course, the same plays. He has Trent Alexander Arnold on the bench this time. Did he have him last time as well? Yeah, he did. I just didn't notice him. Um, he has some nice players, though. He has some nice players on the bench. He has some nice players in game. I, I rate it. I like it. I like the ideas here and there. Um, in terms of changes, realistically, um, 
I guess there are a couple things you could do, I guess. I think the first thing you could do over here is probably buy the new Man of the Match Mane. Adds a bit of colour to your squad with the orange card. And also, it's about 250,000 coins. So, it's not too expensive for you. I think it's a pretty decent upgrade for you. Uh, I then look at possibly uh, better versions of Fernandinho if you were to get yourself into some coins. Uh, how much is Team of the Season Fernandinho now? He's 140,000 coins. So, if you can stretch the Team of the Season Fernandinho, that would also be a huge upgrade to your squad. These prices by the way, are based off of Footbin's latest price update. So this, this card would be a massive, massive upgrade to your squad. Aside from that, I probably wouldn't change a whole lot. It's a really, really nice squad, and I like what you're doing there with the, you know, Ericsson being the ball-playing playmaker. Uh, you've got, obviously, uh, Mane and Tovan on the left and right being pacey, getting in behind, making runs. You've got Lacazette to try and feed the ball through to. I like what you're doing. Uh, I guess you've, you have got two pretty short CDMs here. Both of them got decent physical stats. Uh, obviously, Fernandinho got really really, really nice jumping and it's five foot ten. Surprisingly enough, Fernandino does win me a lot of headers, but I mean, overall, you've got pretty, pretty short defense as well. Like Bobby Moore is what, like five foot eight, five foot ten, sorry, uh, and six foot five, uh, six foot two there, and five foot ten for Lala. So you got a pretty short defense, but I guess if you can defend pretty well um, and hopefully try and prevent crosses, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. If it's something that you enjoy using, then, then, you know, so be it and power to you for using a, a smaller defense. Um, aside from that, there's not really many changes I'd make. Again, it's a really nice endgame squad. Uh, it's nice that you've sort of pushed yourself to make a squad like this. Um, and I can't wait as well for FIFA 20 to start making different squads again because I feel like every squad looks really similar. 4 2 3 1, all the same. I can't wait to have some unique squads for FIFA 20. Squad number four comes from Jacob Long on Twitter who said, Hashtag it's Sabre. I've got around 150,000 coins in the club. Everyone is untradeable apart from Bale and Werner. Play a 5 2 1 2 in game. Any upgrades? Wow, so he starts in a 4 triple 2 Very nice starting team. I like it a lot. Uh, you got some really nice players in there. Then he plays a 5-2-1-2 two, two in game. Obviously, he starts a Kanji on 7 chemistry, uh, and then he plays on 7 chemistry as a centre-back. That's very interesting. You've got Alaba as a cam, who's, I'd say, pretty defensive for a cam. You've got Bale and Werner up top, who's a pretty lethal uh, partnership. I'd swap Bale and Werner around straight away. You've got a really, really nice midfield as well in in that new free Condogbia, and you've got that Goretzka. You've got the uh, the foot swap Boateng, which I respect the grind getting towards as well. Um, obviously, you've got more Alonso, uh, Ramos at right back as well. A lot of people, actually, a lot of pros used either Ramos or Varane at left back and right back for the um, for the pro tournaments. A lot of people use Hullet there as well to prevent the back crows crossing. Interesting. I find that pretty pretty interesting to use them there. So in terms of changes, let's get into it. The changes now. First of all, like I said, first things first. Swap. Oops. No, no, no. You don't want to swap those. To okay. We. we yeah, you got to fix this, man. you got to be able to just, like... I, I'm literally pressing just one to the right, and I'm going down to Alaba. That shouldn't be a thing, really. Yeah, I shouldn't have to navigate all the way over to, to right striker via, like, two or three inputs. doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But first change I'd make straight away is swap these two around in-game. You want the left footers on the right and the right footers on the left for those first-time shots. You want cross-body, cross-goal, far-post first-time shots. Trust me. I'm an expert. Um, so I would personally go with that. Aside from that, honestly, I don't think there's any changes you can make. Again, I think this is one of those flex squads where it's just a really nice squad end game. You just want to show everyone what you've achieved throughout the year, which I respect. And it's a very nice squad to have achieved throughout the year as well. Um, so I respect it. Really, really nice squad. I wouldn't change anything else. And I respect that you've gone with three players in there as well. Um, I, I do I do respect the fact that people are utilizing the free foot swaps. Uh, they are very usable cards. And uh, I respect people grinding towards them. So, without further ado, let's get to the last squad of the episode. The last team of this episode comes from Luca Zaid. Uh, he said, hashtag is here, second is in game, only over 10k at the minute, but want to buy team of the season Tovan for right wing. So he starts in a 4-3-3-4, playing uh, Lacazette off chemistry, as well as Lazari. Uh, pretty interesting there. And he'd want to play Tovan and Cancelo off chemistry. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, and then in game, he plays a 4-2-3 on, of course, playing uh, Philippe Anderson left. That card looks incredible, by the way, in game. Uh, Lazari right, Alejandro middle, and Lacazette up top. Now, there are a couple changes I'd make to this team, even with 10,000 coins. First things first, this card looks unreal, and I'd love to hear your opinion on how he plays in game. Please let me know in the comments down below how this card plays. Uh, first things first, he is not a cam. I'm so sorry. I know you've grinded towards this card, but it is not a cam. 
You need to make sure that this guy only ever plays somewhere like that. And you need to get rid of this guy too, straight away. Now, I know you've only got 10,000 coins. And of course, Lazari is a red. That's why you're using him. If you can incorporate any kind of player to play as a... Maybe you start as a 4-4-2. Again, this is going to be something where you have to sort of filter the players that you want to use and don't want to use. You've got to figure out someone that can play CDM for this team because you can't use Loud Dropper CDM. He's just terrible, man. I mean, you can if you want, obviously. My advice is don't use Loud Dropper CDM. Truthfully for this squad, I don't have a whole lot of advice because uh, you haven't told me who is really uh, in your club in terms of what you can sell. Um, it doesn't really say who's untradeable and who's tradable in terms of what you can sell. So I don't know if that's a tradable low drop, although I'm guessing it isn't. Um, so I, I need more for information for this, but my main advice would be do whatever you can to get a better CDM there. Someone tall, someone stocky. Uh, maybe play a whole week of rivals and just take the coins to build your coins up because that would also be helpful. And just don't use loud drop a CDM. That is the best advice I can give for this squad. But that is it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to be featured, make sure you submit your squads for next week. The best time to submit your squads are between Friday and Sunday. Um, I record these roughly on Saturday night. So Friday and Saturday are probably the best times to, to update. Uh, sorry, to upload and submit your squads. Although on Saturday night, I do scroll quite far down and find some older squads. So if you're not featured in this episode, you might be featured in the next episode and you might be having an old squad featured. I don't entirely know. So if you've not been featured, I recommend just posting your updated squads whenever you can. Thank you all for the support on the channel recently. I really appreciate it. I've got some big ideas for this series on FIFA 20. So let's see if they can come into fruition. I really appreciate that you guys are helping me get to 100,000 subs. I'll see you later.